We are joined by the newest member of the Toronto Blue Jays, Joe Biagini. And Joe, just so the folks at home know, you're really not the same height as me. Just just stand up for everybody so they know that you are a little bit taller okay, than I am. Stand up. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's what it is right there. He's a tall fella. Listen, congratulations. You make the team. The highest you've pitched before this was double A. When the Blue Jays got you uh, on the Rule 5 draft, what were your expectations coming in? I was really disappointed. Um, this organization is just, uh, no, I'm kidding. You are very I, sarcastic, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, uh, I didn't, know, as I've found, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of knowledge around about the rules of the Rule 5 because it's just so complicated. Like, I didn't know most of it um, when I, uh, when it happened. So I kind of had found different like pieces of the information as I went through this spring and 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 so like each piece of information I went oh well that's good and then oh well, uh, you know and it's kind of like so but when it first happened I wasn't put on the 40 man with the Giants um, I kind of understood where what you know what they were doing with that so I was like okay that's fine I'm you know just keep you know just keep working and, and uh, but then this happened I really wasn't expecting it um, so it kind of was one of the biggest you know, there's been a lot of moments throughout this spring that I've, you know, been, um, you know, excited about, especially when I saw that eagle the other day, um, and baseball-wise as well. But uh, that was kind of one of the biggest moments for me, I think, was just having it happen because I wasn't expecting it, you know. So. I guess the bottom line is if you pitch well enough, you're giving them a very difficult decision where they're saying, well, we do not want to risk losing them, and it's benefiting you because they can't keep you unless – they keep you yeah I mean that's you just you always want to make a team you know unfortunately for them have to make a difficult decision and uh, I tried to influence them by trying out some of my jokes and stuff not all of them went over perfectly but um, so if you can't win them over with your pitching you right, do it with exactly. your personality right I mean that I don't see a problem with that I don't know <laughs> just try to work all the angles right um, but yeah I, I I think that um, this opportunity just in general is a great chance to build confidence and get exposure and, and uh, you know, because you never know what's going to happen and what the team needs specifically and if you fit that role or whatever. So I was just really grateful for the Blue Jays just to take a chance on me and, and I tried to make the most of it, you know, not knowing what would happen, but I just tried to trust God and trust, you know, my, my stuff and just go out there and, and um, try to legitimize the opportunity. And, uh, you know, so far it's worked out okay, so we'll see how it goes. And you've got an interesting little tie-in with this team, seeing that Chris Colabello's dad and your dad have met and they know each other. They've played against each other. Yeah, they both played in Italy. Um, my dad and his dad... Uh, ran into each other up in the stands uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they're like, hey, uh, you know. Did you know and, this uh, when you came here? He, I did know this. I don't think he, uh, uh, Lou, uh, Chris's dad, knew, but my dad introduced himself, and then they had this big, raucous, you know, uh, uh, sharing session of, of memories and stuff, uh, which was pretty cool. My my dad, and then I saw Lou uh, later, and and he said, I love talking to your dad. It was so fun. So that was pretty cool. Also, I I believe Troy Tulowitzki's from right in the same town as me, um, and went to high school right down the street from. You didn't hang out with him though. I, you know, he was kind of in the cool group, and I was, you know, I don't know. I was a little nervous, but I'm still a little nervous. I was but. about to say, in all seriousness, but I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Sorry. But have you given any thought now? I mean, the, the news has not been sitting in you for very long, but just that thought of being on that Major League roster, come opening day, standing on the line as they're announcing the names, and there you are. I really haven't. Um, this has been like a 20-year dream, as you can imagine. Uh, to have this day happen and I kind of feel bad that I'm not appreciating it as much as I should but just because I haven't had a chance to really I was got told you know a little while ago called my dad I was wandering around here aimlessly and that's when you said hey do you have a minute and, and uh, so I really haven't had a chance to process uh, this um, but I just I'm just thank god for the chance to do it i mean i 
I'm, I'm having a hard enough time processing how I'm going to answer your questions, <laughs> uh, some better than others. But uh, so I'm going to need to set aside some time to just kind of sit there and think about it, you know, and because, you know, I might as well, right? Have you been to Canada before? That's an easy one to answer. I have only been to Vancouver, I believe. We played the um, with the Giants. We were in Salem, Kaiser. We played um, the Vancouver Canadians. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we got to go um, out in the uh, city of Vancouver when we were there. We all made good choices, of course. Um, and uh, I really liked it. Um, I don't believe... I've been anywhere else in Canada on purpose. Well, you'll be in Toronto soon. So yeah. is there anything you'd like to say to the fans back in Toronto before you meet them face to face on opening day in um, Toronto? Hi, fans. Hi, uh, John. Uh, it's probably one of the fans. Um, I just want to say how grateful I am for this opportunity. And I uh, um, appreciate all the support that we'll get. And I just want to help this team win. And, and uh, and uh, you're gonna have fun. Let me put it yeah. that way. You're gonna have a lot of fun there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I believe I will, but I don't want to, you know, assume too much. Yeah. No, but I, I, I definitely, I can't imagine it won't be incredibly fun. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really excited. I haven't really had a chance to process anything, as you can probably tell through this interview. But, um, but I'm, I'm gonna try to enjoy it as much as I can, be as grateful as I can for the opportunity. Well, listen, Joe. Congratulations. Thank you very much for doing this, and thank you very much for making yourself a foot shorter than you really are. Oh, that's no problem. You know, I was wearing my high heels anyway, so. <laughs>